Good morning! Let's kick the day off right with Gila taking a dump. It's the best way to start the mornings. She thinks so. See, she's gonna be like, time to blast off into America. You too, Britney Spears? Good look, what is this dump morning? This is a dump station and dump morning. All right, I'll look this way then. And they're off. It is a bright morning. Good Lord. Those dogs are absolutely insane. And they're gone now. So uh, I guess the video's over. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. I think there's about to be a battle. I don't know, Gila's acting really mysterious, being all calm and seated outdoors. This is not typically like her. This is what huskies do whenever they're waiting to pounce on something. They sit down and pretend like nothing's wrong. They're like, nothing's going on. I'm just chilling. Britney Spears. <laughs> Knew it. You can't catch him, girl. You're too slow. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Britney Spears just hopped straight upwards in the air. Can we see that again real quick in slow-mo? All right, in today's episode, we're going to be going into the haunted warehouse. I mean, it's not haunted, but it's a warehouse, and it's on my property, and there's a bunch of weird things in it. And there's the haunted warehouse right there. Yeah, that's where we're going, so let's make our... Let's make our way over there. Look at this little bundle of fun. Now, if you've watched the channel, I haven't been to my property in a few months. It's been a while because I've been traveling a lot. So I haven't been in the warehouse at all. So who knows what's in there? I don't know. There could be mice. There could be rats. There could be more huskies. I, I don't know. We're just going to have to find out in three, two. Well, it's going to, I need a couple more seconds to get up there. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, okay. One. Why can't I open this? It's locked. Why is it locked? Update on the chickadillies. They're doing good. Their pen needs to be cleaned. I need to rake all of those feathers out of there. But they're eating right now. You'd think they were pigs. These are definitely chickens. But right now they're pigs. Raise your floofy butts up. Raise them floofy butts up. Everybody wants to know why I have chickens and huskies. I'm like, I just love the floofy butts. If you got a floofy butt, I'm into you. That's that's the thing. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive. Good, good Lord. So that's chicken nugget, that's chicken drumstick, that's chicken breast, that's chicken thigh, and that's chicken gizzard back there. In case you wanted to know all the names of them. You guys are good. I'll let you go. You got water, you got everything. I'll be back to clean everything up. Look at them rain clouds right there. I'm gonna get my butt inside before I get wet. I'm way too sweet to get wet. Look at that one lone bird on the wire. Sitting and pondering, contemplating his existence. He's like, what is this giant string that I'm sitting on? Who made it? How did it get here? Why am I the only bird that sits here? What is life? Sorry, I'll stop singing scary noises. All right, so over here in the corner, we have a dilapidated sofa. Who knows what lies inside? Then over here, we have a giant pile of hay. Premium pine shavings as well to the right. He looks like, nothing to see here. You see anything, Britney Spears? Is there anything spooky? Is there anything spooky? Oh, watch out for that thing. Over here in the corner, we have a giant arcade with some cardboard and a t-shirt, a haunted t-shirt, perhaps. All right, ready, I'm gonna prank him. Oh my God! This is a good boy, thank you. Thank you for coming to save me. You, you're good. He was like, I could care less, and he didn't scare me either, so nice try. Yeah, this place needs to be cleaned. I don't think there's any ghosts in here, but definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let's go find out why this door is locked, though. That's pretty... That's pretty creepy. That's pretty creepy. There we go. Woo. Need to fix that. Yeah, this door needs to be fixed. Just a little. Just a little. You wanna go out this way? There you go. There you go. Hey! Come on, be friends. Hila, stop. Stop. God, 
God, she's a wild one. Whoa, look at that beetle. You guys see that beetle? That is a big bug. Gila. Come on at this. You, you missed it by like a mile. It's right at your feet. Now you stepped on it. Good job. Whoa. He is massive and big. I like to take the huskies out first thing in the morning just to zap all of the energy out of them. Britney Spears, why are you hacking, dude? Stop eating grass. Good girls, good guys. Good Lord. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you guys... <laughs> You guys sound like you just like got home from a cigar room. <laughs> Good God. Get inside, hackaroonies. Sit down. Lay down. All right, on the count of three, you may have dinner. Are you ready? One, two, three. And that's how we do it in the six to formula house. So a lot of people ask me why I own Siberian Huskies and chickens. And the reason is because, well, A, chickens give me eggs. And eggs are really expensive right now, so it's really awesome to just walk outside every day, pick up a few eggs, and have them for breakfast or for baking, whatever. Now, my Siberian Huskies would kill my chickens if I let them mingle together, so they do not mingle together. But the Huskies keep the yard safe. They let other animals know with their smell and their presence that they aren't welcome there. And if they do come around, the dogs will protect the property. So owning huskies and owning chickens is a great benefit, especially if you own some land. That's the reason why I own both of them. And if you train them young enough, you can make huskies and chickens be able to roam together. It's just, I got my chickens way later uh, when my huskies were older, so they're not friendly to birds. That's just a situation I live in. I just put a, a fence around my chicken area with the coop, so. Well, dinner time's over. We thank you so much for watching this episode. We thank you so much for hanging out with us today. He was like, I'm, I'm full. If you guys had fun today, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Huskaroni pizza episodes. When you like and you subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. It supports the Huskies too. So be sure to do that, fam. Like I already said, we had such a blast hanging out with you guys and we can't wait to see you next time. Until then, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yeah, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! scooby da ba 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 do 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 ba do